Hello everyone. So today is uh, 22nd of Feb and it's currently 23, uh, so 11.50 p.m. So uh, the thing is that let's discuss uh, tomorrow is a big day, monthly expiry, uh, the, our uh, second monthly expiry for this year and uh, let's discuss what we are expecting tomorrow, okay? So uh, in the past video, that is uh, the last yesterday's video, also I told, just go and check my fi final verdict that you just have to be a beer, stick to sell on rise or just sell and uh, you will be re rewarded, okay? And not only that, for the past few videos, this one and all the rest of the past few videos, uh, uh, I have been, I kept on telling you that uh, what is happening in the market and also like I told you that 18,000 they uh, put buy so when market was at 18,000 I told that at 18,000 FIIs are doing put buying at 94 rupees and today you uh, it went up to 471 rupees okay so I mean if these uh, videos are really helping you so please do like the video and please do share it among uh, others so that they can be uh, uh, I mean, benefit, uh, they would find the videos, uh, uh, they, uh, it would help them as well as it would help me to gain some subscribers or some new uh, subscribers. So yeah, without wasting time, let's continue to our today's analysis. As you all know, even I, uh, while the market was, uh, uh, I mean, live, I posted the screenshot of the today's analysis. So the first thing was that. Uh, the, due to the gap down, as I told you yesterday, I was uh, carrying forward call writing positions at 17,800. So uh, premiums decreased by more than 50% and I closed my positions as I discussed in yesterday's video as well. Okay, that first thing I would do, I, I'll close and then I'll watch whether put buyers or put writers are present. Okay, and then uh, I, I, I did wait and watch and then uh, I said that uh, bank nifty, if, if it breaks 40,434, then we would be initiating short positions, fresh short positions, okay? And yeah, it did break. And uh, I mean, we saw a very, very nice fall. Okay, so uh, yes, after Bank Nifty fell, we shorted the market and there was a very nice move. Uh, and then <coughs> the next thing was that uh, even at uh, uh, 1227, we identified that uh, the uh, in the money call writers were present at 17,500. So if you just check here, that is uh, at 1227. So this is the candle at 1227 where Nifty is almost at 17,640. Okay. So 17,640 and in the money writers are present at 17,500. So a 140 points gap. So this is not only beneficial for the call writers to eat a huge premium. Because uh, in these scenarios, what happens is Nifty comes down by at least 7200 points. Okay. And uh, so, I mean, call writers get a nice opportunity for eating a huge premium as well as put buyers. Uh, they also have a nice opportunity because they know that market is surely going to fall. Because in the money, call writers are present and we just have today and tomorrow. So by tomorrow, uh, Nifty has to fall. Okay. There is no way. Uh, so these 140 points, uh, at least 100 points duty has to fall. So even if you don't buy in the current uh, expiry, so you can just go and buy in the uh, next expiry and uh, be profitable. Okay, finally, if the move doesn't come today, tomorrow it has to come. So that's how uh, these in the money call writers uh, identifying them are beneficial. And uh, yeah. So that's it and I'm carrying forward my uh, call writing positions at 17,500 and 17,600. And uh, now the, the next thing is that uh, uh, this 17,625, uh, as I said that it was a major support and uh, I mean, uh, Nifty tried to concentrate uh, around that for some time, uh, but it f uh, finally, uh, I mean, uh, took that level down and uh, it came down and also this level was several times discussed in the past that is 17,524 uh, okay so my uh, nifty came down and just took support there so I have told you instead of drawing slanted lines just draw these uh, horizontal lines and they are going to be very very helpful during the intraday so that's that's the thing and uh, yeah nifty ends near to the next level so even if this level breaks, so let's discuss the next levels. 
that is 70,000 six uh, 524 if this breaks then 70,440 would be uh, uh, next intraday level and if even that breaks then the major level is at 70,389 okay and for bank nifty let's see uh, 40,434 uh, was taken down the major next major level is at 39,347 okay so you have seen that uh, when bank nifty broke uh, 40,434 even uh, in the past, uh, recent past, then it came near to this level and took support. Okay, so here also it came near to that level, and uh, uh, here it did not come, but uh, it took support at 39,772. Okay, so um, I mean, if you just motamoti pakarke ki this is the major support that is 39,347 is the next major support. Okay, for Bank Nifty and uh, yeah so again if you have uh, uh, seen this during the intraday also there was a huge gap and that was a clear sign that uh, overall market uh, is in red and it's uh, like in um, i mean it's a huge gap between the advances and the declines if i have sold and yeah is have bought but not in huge quantity so uh, why are the these falling because it's concentrated selling is going on so the buying uh, it's not uh, as I clearly told you in the, even in the past that these buyings and sellings are should not be in only nifty 50 or bank nifty or, or whatever like um, it, it can be like uh, selling could go on nifty 50 and uh, buying could go on in suppose any uh, nifty hundreds so any of them uh, so anywhere they can buy so that's not the point okay so that's that's uh, why they are making concentrated selling and uh, you would notice that they are not selling much but that's what is happening okay and that's why the indices are falling uh, or maybe it might be like some particular com companies where they are buying so that's why like overall market participation uh, uh, is in red and so the market is coming down so uh, yes so don't get fooled by uh, the lesser amount of buying now the next thing is that uh, let's discuss today's end of the day data. So, yeah, you, if you notice that they have, uh, FIs have taken some, uh, built up some futures long positions. That is basically to, I mean, basically, uh, they could do it in the next, uh, I mean, they, uh, this is basically they have added in the next mo month's um, uh, 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 futures, okay, position. So, let's not worry about that. I mean, if you see this and compare it to the amount of positions that have been added today in the future shot, it's huge. Okay. And so again, upside will be limited, but it's also like uh, very limited as, as per me. Okay. So that's, that's the thing. And now let's talk about option index. So option index put writing has been done, but if you notice the put buying quantity, it's in one of the huge put buying amounts that I have seen like, uh, uh, I mean in the recent past I can say okay so after a very very long time such a huge amount of put buying has been done okay so with experience I'm saying this so as you all know like even uh, those who followed me know uh, in the past videos like uh, sometimes like I do these analysis with my experience so that's uh, and uh, that's why you see that the accuracy is like uh, good because experience is one of the data which is like very very like uh, uh, i mean what should i say like it's very very important and it helps you a lot okay and uh, yes now uh, looking at these call buying positions so again uh, they have bought uh, huge call buying because just to hedge these huge future shot and these huge call writing positions so uh, even like prop decks also they have prop decks uh, if you notice the uh, put writing positions also they have done but again uh, I mean just compared to the call writing positions that's nothing okay so almost if you the total number of call writing positions if you take a half it it's almost near to that okay not exactly it's almost near to that so uh, you can imagine like uh, the um, uh, pro for prop decks the call writing amount is almost double compared to the put writing positions and uh, yes and uh, prop decks FIIs they have done call writing positions they have taken call writing positions 
till uh, like uh, i mean 70800 70700 70600 uh, as well as 70500 okay so yes Again, as I, as, as I was just saying that experience plays a role. So even if you notice in yesterday's video, I discussed that uh, FIA's uh, data was showing that they were, and also PropDex data was showing that they were uh, closing call writing positions yesterday, right? So I clearly told you that why they were closing. So yesterday I showed you that above 18,000, uh, uh, I mean the call writers were closing because what? They have almost eaten up 90% of the premiums. So that's why they did not think that, uh, I mean, it was, it was, it, it wasn't you, I mean, Benny, uh, I mean, surely that would have been beneficial for them, but with respect to them, I think they wanted, uh, some more returns. Okay. Or, uh, so that's why like they, uh, I mean, withdrew, withdrew these positions and then today they, uh, use that capital to short, even in going in, in the money. Okay. So. Yes. Uh, so, I mean, you don't have to believe me, just go and check yesterday's video. And yes, so uh, the thing is that if these videos are really helping you, don't forget to put a like and please do share it among the other fellow traders who need such analysis. It's not only going to be helpful for them, but also it would uh, mutually benefit me in uh, having a little more subscriber base. So yeah. Uh, now let's come to even bank nifty also like if you see here that is uh, below 40,000 also like call writers are present in the money so again be careful and uh, also uh, I mean it's not a good idea even if you see market going up again uh, it's not a good idea to go with uh, put writing positions as uh, I mean it, uh, then it would be better to close your posi uh, short positions and even not trade okay but uh, finally uh, market is going to come down because these huge call writing positions would be in loss for the big guys and uh, that's that's the thing and uh, uh, some have started also at 17,400 doing call writing so we, we will notice again yes uh, tomorrow uh, what happens so it's not tomorrow it's today so it's now uh, past 12 midnight so yeah <coughs> uh, I, I'll observe what happens uh, uh, further in the money uh, today and uh, for now again uh, 17,500 uh, it has to come near about that because uh, the huge amount of call writers are waiting there and uh, yeah so that's the overall view that is market data is heavily bearish that's the final verdict um, that is uh, I mean stick to sell or sell on rise whatever you think but don't be a bull in this scenario okay even if you see green candles, don't be a bull, don't trade. That's fine. But that, I mean, again, uh, I'm not saying uh, it's your life, your money, your wish, but that's what I would be doing. Okay. And uh, then I think I have discussed all the levels, everything, uh, bank nifty levels. I think I have discussed. Oh yeah. Bank nifty levels we have discussed and yeah, so that's it for today and yes also india vix is rising so please be careful and uh, trade safely and also uh, if you like the video please don't forget to like and uh, for the new comers here don't forget to subscribe and uh, also you can follow me on twitter for uh, live market updates and all the other updates that i share on twitter so thanks for watching keep watching and keep learning and trade safely see you in the next one